All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And this is a quick video. This is a another uh, heh, interesting piece of information here. You know, and just as you thought things were things were gonna go nicely, right? Especially dealing with these prices. Um, here's uh, Chevron CEO warns Americans to brace for higher natural gas prices this winter. And all these things uh, loading up at winter time, man. We all know how how critical things can get in the winter time. It's harder to move around. It's hard to get from one place to another. Energy consumption is much higher, so to have such limited amount, you know, and the, and the demand looking like it's going to go even higher, that's going to be an interesting uh, scenario to see. Now, it says the chairman and CEO of energy company Chevron has warned Americans to brace for price increases in natural gas this winter. CEO Mike Worth made the comments in an interview with CNN on September 13th in which he warned consumers that there's certainly a risk um, that costs will go up when it comes to natural gas. <coughs> prices already are very high relative to history and prices uh, are slack in relative to the rest of the world. We are already seeing this impact being felt in the, in the European economy and I do think that it's likely that Europe goes into a recession worth said so another one right europe has been suffering from an energy squeeze in recent months driven by its decision to wean itself off fuel from russia in the wake of its invasion of ukraine along with chronic shortages and a move by some eu countries to phase out coal you're trying to phase out coal you're trying to um <coughs> Quote unquote, stop depending on Russian oil. You're trying to do all these things and look at the situation that you're now in. You know? So, as it goes on to read, it says, um, Europe has been suffering from an energy squeeze in recent. Oh, it's like you already read that. Um, the outlook for Europe this winter is now looking more strained after Russian state owned energy corporation, Gazprom scrapped plans to restart gas flows through its Nord Stream 1 pipeline to Germany earlier this month. Following uh, what was expected to be temporary, so you're hearing of a lot of situations and a lot of cases where they expected something to be temporary or to be one way, and then as time goes on, they're like, look, that's this, in, in all honesty, from the way things are looking, it's, it's not going to be this way, all right? Well, and I've said this before that there's going to be multiple revisions of their forecasts because that's what they do, right? They forecast something in the future. Oh, according to what we're seeing now, it looks like uh, rate um, the, the inflation rate is going to be at this or it looks like this is going to get to this level or it's going to hit these these levels, right? But as as time moves forward and more uh, factors you know, come into place, those forecasts can change. And, and that's what we've seen these past few months. But in, in most cases, the forecasts don't change for the better. They really change for the worse, right? Numbers get revised, you know, to increase, all right, which, which is not really a good thing uh, given the circumstance that the world is facing right now. And you notice these, these crises are not just on a, on a, um, on a, uh, uh, on one front, okay? It's going to affect everything. And it's going to change your, your, your lives as you know it. Because that's the whole goal, right? The global reset is not a small thing. It's literally called a global reset, <laughs> you know? So it's not a small thing. It's going to be an impact. It's an impact that's going to be felt worldwide. There's, there's a, a whole uh, uh, change coming to the world. Um, so it says... Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Following what was expected to be a temporary shutdown for routine maintenance, Gazprom said that it could not safely uh, restart gas deliveries through the key pipeline until an oil leak in a critical turbine was fixed. 
Officials have not yet stated. Right, you know, it just might be worse. Okay, so it goes on to read. It says, um, uh, CEO uh, Slakia, not as bad as it is in Europe, the CEO stated that natural gas prices could still be significantly higher this winter in uh, in the former. Uh, last month, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm sent a letter to seven refinery, refiners, including Valero, ExxonMobil, and Chevron, urging them not to increase exports of fuels like gasoline and diesel and instead help build domestic supplies because it's getting tough. And if these are the moves they're making here in the U.S., then like like the um, like the previous article uh, 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 stated that then Europe, th there's no bailout coming for Europe, especially not from the U.S. Export ban could have unintended consequences given the historic level of U.S. refined product exports. I again urge you to focus in the near term on building inventories in the United States rather than selling down current stocks and further increasing exports. Granholm said in the letter before noting that the Biden administration will need to consider additional federal requirements or other emergency measures if the companies fail to do so. Okay, meaning if they, if they I, I'm, in this sense, it sounds like if they fail to cut exports because you're, you're low, there's, a, there's an energy crisis, you're running low, these companies are still exporting this this uh, uh, this energy, gas and diesel out. You're running low. What do you do now? You know, they're going to start digging into, like it says, these emergency measures, you know, but that that just all all that goes to show you what times we're living in. You know, if, if they have to start digging into emergency measures and, you know, all these things, everything you're hearing now is unprecedented levels, uh, 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 emergency, uh, uh, civil unrest, uh, uh, you know, just bad news. All right, and as the scriptures say in the book of First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. So just when you think, you know, things may be going bad, but just when you think there's hope in this world for things to get better, boom, it gets crushed. Okay, it gets crushed because that's the times we're living in. Read the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter in the seventh verse. Read the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter in the first verse. Read the book of Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. All these things are prophecies, all right, about the times that we are literally staring right in the face. So, so it's getting ready to get real nasty out here, and you got to have a strong mind in order to be to be able to endure it, because there's going to be things that make you so uncomfortable, things that you you situations you never thought about being in, you never saw yourself in before, but you might end up in that situation, and you can't just. You, you know you can't you, there's no way out you're just gonna have to deal with it and that's why it's so important to to pray to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai that we may be delivered from these situations because sometimes and most times you're going to find yourself in a situation that you cannot find a way out of and you're going to need divine intervention you're going to need a higher power to deliver you and that's when people are going to realize uh second measure 16 uh around the 70 verse on down then shall they uh um, then shall it be known who are my chosen so anyway with that I'm going to end it here Lord willing that was edifying and informative to the elect in closing I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakha Kodash until next time Shalom